Hey everyone, before we get started, there's a big announcement to let you guys in on. If you were at the Origins Game Fair Live 6th World Podcast episode, you've already heard this announcement, but the Complex Action Actual Play is now a proud part of the Shadowcasters Network. You're about to hear a bumper all about it, but I had to say it here first so you guys could hear me and my excitement. This is a big Thing that has been a long time coming. It's a network being started by some of us Shadowrun content creators to promote gaming content. Uh, we're going to be coming together to bring you guys the highest quality content that we can manage to put together. It's amazing. Uh, it started out small, uh, but we're going to be working out very, very hard to make it something great for tabletop gamers everywhere. You may already know about the Shadowcasters Network Discord. That was actually something that we created first in association and kind of like to, to prep ourselves for this kind of idea. So yes, the Shadowcasters Network proper is a, is, supports and backs the Shadowcasters Network Discord. Anyway... Stay tuned for lots of cool stuff. In the meantime, you really should head on over to the website at shadowcasters.network. There's a lot of cool stuff, most of which I haven't even mentioned here. Uh, there's a store there. There's information about an online venue for playing officially sanctioned Shadowrun missions games. Exciting. Anyway, lots of stuff and lots of stuff to continue coming in the future. So you'll hear the site name again in the bumper coming up right now. But for now, on with the show. This show is part of the Shadowcasters Network. For more shows about Shadowrun and tabletop gaming, check out our website at shadowcasters.network. You're listening to the Complex Action Actual Play Podcast. The blue data job is done, and it looks like Haley was the subject of some really bizarre experiments. Elric still wants some answers, but the rest of the team seems mostly that they just want to forget about it and leave it all behind. Besides, there are more important things to think about. It looks like Eon has gone full-blown artificially intelligent. How's Payday going to deal with this? I don't know. You'll have to listen and find out in episode 44, Filled with Helium. You got in throwbacks, I think throw, no, you're in the cleaning van and you have just escaped the parking lot and are now um, on your way out. Are we clear? Yeah, Elric, uh, when he gets in the van, uh, just basically uh, throws himself to the ground and rips his ballistic mask off, uh, coughs, and uh, there looks like a bunch of smoke comes out of his mouth and a, kind of a spray of blood into his mask. That it's, he's holding in front of him, and he just sort of uh, leans over and curls up into the fetal position. His face just a, a rictus of pain. Leroy reaches into his pocket and pulls something out and pauses for a moment before handing a little hip flask to you. I'm just kind of trying to wave it away, but I, but I look like I'm just curled up and don't want anything. He shrugs, pulls off his mask, and starts to take a hit out of the flask. Payday uh, comes up next to him and Puts his hand out, still looking at Elric. Give you a look uh, before taking another hit off the flask and passing it. You good? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I think so. Just uh, feels like my bones are on fire. Hmm. Uh, just bad terrain. Nothing you can do. Keep going. Let me let me know if you need me. It's over. I'll be right here. Who's driving right now? I thought we had arrived. I apologize. I would have been payday driving, so I thought we got out of there. I mean, you're you're speeding down the road, no doubt. Oh. Okay. Um, but uh, but you're still driving away, and so much so that you can probably just barely in the in the in the distance behind you see flashing lights of you know Lone Star vehicles or emergency response or something like that that had just you know far enough away that it's indistinct. You can't even see the the source of the lights but you can see the you know the in, fog and moisture in the air flashing red and blue in that case i take a second hit from that flash before passing it back to uh leroy i'm gonna drop all the spells that i'm sustaining currently including the big fire domes that were um containing some of the security personnel 
And I believe I've reassigned my spirit to o- Overwatch following the team again. So, uh, question to uh, the basement crew. What the frag just happened? What do you mean? We, job's we did done, right? a job. Yeah, it was good, and then you went down there, and I figured it was going to be smooth, but it wasn't smooth. They had some additional security. It was unavoidable. I look over to throw back and take a like a long pull. Additional Job's security. done, right? Yeah, we got everything in place. Virus is uploaded. Should be piping out the, the code any second now. Well, that's reassuring. And who the frag cares? Job's done. Good job, guys. Uh, someone like have a mid here something so I can like heal this dog bite. It's really bleeding. Oh, she moves her hand and a little bit of blood just squirts out. Elric uh, kind of pulls himself up to a sitting position, obviously with extreme willpower. Seems to be in a lot of pain. Uh, he takes off his backpack med kit and starts taking stuff out. Let's see, you're magically active, right? Uh, can't use these. What are those? Uh, stronger drugs. Hey, uh, Bobby, I'm going to try, uh, as soon as I feel that I'm able to, uh, maybe try a quick maneuver or two to try to throw off this, uh, distant trail. I managed to score, I took an extra two dice off as well for the, um, imagined work conditions because I'm in the back of a van and also because of my pain. So I ended up with four hits. So I think that means I'll patch you up for two boxes. Awesome. Thank you. That feels a lot better. It's not bleeding everywhere anymore. This fan's going to be hard to clean. Payday, go ahead and tell me how many hits you get on some, uh, I guess, some maneuvers to try to lose any potential tail you have, right? Sure. Um, Do you want me to use uh, roll 20 for that? or? Um, It doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to have you tell me out loud what it is anyway. Do you have any essence loss, Wada? Only one, so it wouldn't be a negative. Okay, uh, I take out this small little um, brass round thing and I press it onto your knee and I kind of tap a button on it and it ejects out these different uh, metal tendrils that stick into you and it glows for a moment as it uh, healing preparation goes off. It would be a negative one for that. In addition okay, to the I essence... I thought you meant for the med kit. I just have, I have an essence of five, so. Okay, yeah, I did the first aid first. Now I'm doing the healing preparation. Hey, Bobby, what's the handling on this van? Four more boxes. Awesome, thank you. This is way better. Let's say the handling is three. Does that sound reasonable? <laughs> yeah, three is a pretty reasonable handling for probably like a GMC and Darren. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to uh, use a point of edge before this roll then. With apparent great effort, Elbrick crawls up into one of the seats and fastens on the seatbelt. That's uh, six hits, Bobby. All right, awesome. So you guys are going down the street, speeding away, and and your driver payday is deftly maneuvering around streets, taking quick turns and corners, and then taking a nut, you know, taking another quick one really fast just in case anybody's following and anybody's tracking with drones or, or in any other kind of way to, to, to throw them off. And, and, um, and it's, you know, he's not fishtailing or anything. It's, um, it's, it's, he's doing a pretty good job. Especially since this van is crap. Yes. Quite impressive. So you guys, um, it's after midnight in the middle of, you know, uh, the, kind of like um, extra metropolitan area of Columbia outside of downtown. Um, the uh, Everything's dark and quiet and it doesn't seem like you're being followed. All right. I don't much want to take this thing back to my house right now. Um, anybody got any ground to run to? What about the junkyard? Ooh, I don't think Scorch would like that. It's a junkyard. People got to dump direct there all the time. Uh, yeah, but frag. that's her, her place of business. Just call Z Trip two birds with one stone. I ain't calling that kid. Eon, can you call Z Trip, please? I'm going to call Z Trip per Elric's request. All right. Uh, as, basically, as soon as you make a call, um, 
Well, how are you? It's interesting. How are you making the, who's, are you in, you're inside. Good question here. You're inside, uh, what's, you're inside Leroy's comlink still, are you? Yeah. Correct. Okay. So you can call him. I'm just trying to make sure I know whose number probably pops up. Yeah. It would be sort of like a quick, oh, he doesn't keep the phone there. He keeps the phone over here. I, I, whatever. I'll do it anyway. Right. And, uh, and so when you make the call almost immediately, um, it's answered by Z trip who says, who says, Fraggin Leroy, what is going on? Do I get any of this or is it just somebody has abducted my phone and I don't know? Um, you would, you had, would have gotten, you would have heard that. Um, I don't know. You, you might've noticed the outgoing call. It depends on how much you were paying attention, I guess. No, I have finished my first flask and stowed it and am opening a second one. So then maybe, maybe all you heard was uh, Z-Trip saying, Frag and Leroy, what the heck is going on? Uh, I'll pull out my, my comm link and look at it as though I have butt dialed somebody. Z-Trip is definitely there. Um, you can also notice, um, give, me, give me just a regular old perception test. Two. Um, you're also aware that uh, that something else is um, uh, unusual is on your comm link. Uh, you might have to investigate more, but there's something else unusual going on with your comm link. I'll give it a little <coughs> look and uh, don't raise forget, my eyebrow. Don't forget to thank him for the, for the distraction. <coughs> Throwback, there's something up here, and I toss him the, the comm link. And Just as like a little a little message is appearing on the display, I called Sea Trip like you asked! Exclamation point. But he doesn't see it as it's flying through the air. <laughs> I guess I see that message, and then I put the put the phone in my ear. Hello. Uh, throwback. Z Trip. Yeah, what the frag is going on? You know, you send my guys over there. I'm with them, and we're doing what you say. And then suddenly things start catching on fire. Bullets are flying, and we're in a lot of direct load of trouble. And we get the frag out of there, thank goodness. But there's a lot of heat being brought down on us right now. Wow, that sounds dangerous. Um, everything's good. Everything's everything's fine. We uh, we did what you wanted. Um, oh, frag. Uh, hold on a second. And then he waits for a second. You you hear a pause. And then he comes back and says, I need, I need to meet you guys now. We need to deal with this. Uh, we need to lay low. So think about that before you tell us where to meet you. Oh, trust me. Uh, we're not coming back to my place. Um, I got a place that we can meet. I know a guy out in, I know a guy who owns a bar out in Arthur town. It's a pretty, it's a pretty rough place, but, uh, nobody's going to be following us there. It's called the tragic accident. It's a, it's a bar out there. You heard of it? Have I heard of it? Uh, do you uh, know of... Do you have... Um, you have a gang knowledge skill, don't you? I have gangs in area knowledge. Yeah, go ahead and roll that. Whichever one's higher, because both of them would lead you to this. That's five hits. Uh, honestly, it's for either. The, they're the same dice pool. Okay, yeah. You've heard of the tragic accident. You also know about the uh, that it's a bar. It's a this primary hangout for a, an orc supremacist biker thrill gang called the Demon Riders. Great. Um, yeah, to, I think that's what I said a lot. Yeah, <laughs> great, yeah. He, to call it uh, a rough place is probably kind of an understatement. Everything, everything went well. I'm just going to reiterate that part, that everything went well. Uh, we'll, we'll be there soon. All right, yeah. When you get there, um, I know the guy who owns the place. I've done a lot of uh, matrix security work for him and everything. Uh, just tell him that you're with me when you get to the door uh, because they're definitely going to stop you guys trying to come through. Um, but, but just tell him you're with me, and he hangs up. Okay, and then I'm going gonna, gonna to look back at the screen, and I'm going I'm to type a message uh, if, if I can. Is there like a little keyboard on the comm link? I imagine that you just operate on like touchpads like common smartphones today do yeah that's fair just on the screen so i just want, I just want to type back to eon i want to say eon stop acting like you start acting like eon we need to figure it out act like yourself and send that and then toss the phone back to leroy and say uh it's good you you uh you butt dialed but hey it went to the right guy he shrugs and leans back closes his eyes 
Um, how much time has passed since we left the run? Uh, probably no more than 15, 15 or 20 minutes. All right, okay. what's going on? Z-Trip's got a place for us. Uh, it is in... Uh, what was the name of the town again, sir? The, the District of Columbia is called Arthur Town. Okay, yeah, so Z-Trip's got a place for us. It's in Arthur Town. Um, should be around here, and I'll, I'll pass along an address, or at least a, yeah. an intersection. It's called the Tragic Accident. Um, it's it's a pretty rough part of town. Um, it's actually it's actually nearby where Scorch's um, Scorch's place is. Well, that's convenient. All right, you got it. And I will uh, turn us that way. Try to ignore all the chaos that's going on inside of this inside of this van. All right, it'll probably take you another twenty to thirty minutes to get to get there. We bring some place to strip down some of the the heavy combat gear we're walk, we're rocking, or at least I'm rocking. Yeah, the van. Don't tell me you're shy. He be in stripping. All right. Well, as you guys drive along, uh, getting yourselves together, maybe taking some of your more uncomfortable heavy combat gear off, like Leroy's doing, you get uh, get to the tragic accident. Uh, the place that you're you're going to is, like I said, in Arthur Town. It's it's in a it's in a it's in a part of town that is more um, like like industrial. Like I said, it's it's nearby Scorch's junkyard. You know, it's it's not far from there. Um, but the bar itself is it's a freestanding low building. It's about two stories. It's set back from the street a bit. A space in between the street and the building is taken up by a small parking lot, which is it's like all the time filled with all sorts of tricked out racing bikes and choppers and and uh, occasionally also burnt out husks of car or a car or trucks um, like there is right now the burnt out husk of a truck in the parking lot the building itself is relatively nondescript um, it used to be a motel but it's vi- and it's old clearly built in like the 2050s all the windows are coated with black paint from the inside so you can't see in through the windows um, there's a double door entrance in the front. Usually, it's it's manned by two gang members right now, especially in the middle of the night. Um, the lights are on outside. Uh, they're they're acting as bouncers on the front. Um, there's a big side door also large enough to allow um, up to a small truck or up to a small truck inside. Um, and uh, yeah, Throwback would take a deep um, breath and say, uh, "Z Trip said to just tell the guy at the door that we are here." with him and I will warn you guys now uh, they won't like, you know, like take a quick look around most of us. So don't do anything to anger anybody. I spit out the window. Any place that likes Z trip and hates me ain't the kind of place that I want to be, but I can't pick and choose right now. Well, trust us. If, uh, PD's coming this way. It'll at least slow him down for a bit. So he's doing us a favor. Let's do this and get it done. So Elric's going to strip off uh, his outer like jacket or whatever for, a- for his Ace of Cups uh, stuff and shrug on his regular armor jacket. I think he'll set his mask down as well. And he'll fire off a spare preparation he had. All right. I think I'm good as long as this doesn't take more than about, I don't know, half an hour or so. My stim patch wears off. Don't worry. We'll get this done, taken care of quick. When you guys come up to the front door, who's who's heading up the group? Who's who's We're at a bar, I'm probably going first. All right. When you walk up the the two guys are at the front. They're uh, they're wearing like dark leather and and you know with with like the head of, you know, patches on their shoulders that have like red demons and some flames and everything. And they're like really nasty um, looking dudes, you know, really tough looking orc guys. And um, with, with, you know, tusks that are on the big side for orcs. And, um, and they, uh, they see you walking up and look kind of your crew up and down and they, they uh, let out a huff and go, what are you doing here? take out my empty flask and I toss it at him like for him to catch, not to like hurt him ran dry. I need a refill and I start just going in. Yeah. One of them, one of them catches it. The other one puts his hand down and says, hold on, buddy. This isn't a, this isn't exactly a open kind of place. And, um, 
then the guy who just says that looks up and sees Wada and says, Hey. Hey, what's up? What? I like your look. You uh you uh one of those uh Onis? Water for a second looks down like Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Still wearing like the uh, the or the jumpsuit and the it's probably got dog with blood on her arm on the sleeve from the dog. Yeah, I'm an Oni. Why? I heard your type is crazy. You want to find out? You got that right. I nod to Payday. When she, when Wada says you want to find out, he he's he has like a real big grin on his face and he says, "I like your style." Is it true that that you guys that you guys can uh, spit fire sometimes? Yeah, but only when my girlfriend makes me really mad. <laughs> uh, all right, she can come in, and I guess the rest of you guys can come in too. Oh, we're here to we're here to see uh, Z Trip. Oh, oh, well, why didn't you say so? Then yeah, come on in. I thought you said yeah. they weren't gonna like us because this guy's super friendly. I, I said most. Oh, cool. I like you, man. Let's go inside. Anybody who's friends with a girl like this, they're uh. They're at least worth a chance. These guys don't even give a frag about Z Trip. I'd rather be her friend than Z Trip's friend. Why? I like Z Trip. He's got cool hair. Yeah. What do you have against Z Trip? He's an idiot. Right, Z Trip oh. sees you guys come in and immediately like kind of jumps up and, and starts waving his arms like really ex- like excitedly in the you know not happy way. See, yeah, Ulrich's got it. currently has its goggles pulled down over his face because his eyes are just like really disturbingly bloodshot from the overcasting inside this place by the way the entire furniture in this large main room on the first floor that you're on is made up of the remains of crashed cars and trucks and buses and stuff like that the bar stools are made from stacks of tires that were kind of partially burned and fused together uh tables and benches around and on the alcoves are, are made from the blocks of uh are like metal blocks of former vehicles that were like smashed down by a hydraulic comp- compactor or something in a scrap by scrapyard nearby, maybe even scorches. Um, there are, uh, you know, all the different alcoves and different booths and stuff are separated from each other by shattered windshields and huge cargo trucks and pieces and stuff like that. The whole place seems to be like that. Uh, the bar is made from a, the scorch side of a school bus. Um, it's kind of like been bent and welded into shape. Um, it's got a place of metal. Yeah, quite literally. <laughs> um, uh, do I see any uh, bottles um, of booze or beer or anything like lying out behind the bar or anything? Uh, no. Anything that's unsecured? Um, not unsecured. Uh, there, I mean, there are some people who are drinking at the bar, but they they're sitting in front of their booze. Yeah, but I mean, are there is, are there like uh, bottles up on uh, you know a shelf behind the bar or anything? I don't know what you mean? Yeah, there's like a rack of you know liquors and stuff. All right, with a wince, I uh, cast magic fingers force three, and I reach out and uh, grab one of the bottles and carry it towards me as uh, we approach uh, Z Trip. I go straight to the bar. Z Trip sees you come up, <laughs> Elric, with with that and says, "Uh." says you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna watch that here. Um these guys aren't the the friendly bar patron type, okay? Neither am I, I say as I go walking up. He, he oh, kind just of, has this kind of bitter grin on his face as he sits down. He's moving with just is rather decisively but with obvious difficulty and pain. Like his whole body just hurts. He just took drain from a spell he normally doesn't it doesn't uh, even blink at casting. Duly noted, I say as I take a seat and uh, pop the top off the drink and take a sip without even looking to see what it is. It's Windex. That's why we're cleaning the mirror in the back. <laughs> uh, what did I just take a drink of? It wasn't Windex. Unless they actually store Windex in a bo- bottle that looks like it should have booze in it. It was... um. It was actually uh, a pre-made bottle of a specialty drink that they have at this bar um, called Blood and Oil. It's kind of like a layered drink with a syrupy black layer and and like a spicy dark red layer and everything. Um, Give me a body test. Uh, Two dice, one hit. Yeah, when you you, you get some of it in your mouth and you 
you can't even bring yourself to swallow it. All right. I'm just go. Ah, ah, and I start handing the, with my magic fingers, uh, just sort of like passing it off to, uh, towards Leroy. <laughs> there were uh, the two, the two uh, orcs that were sitting at the bar kind of watched the bottle go to you and you try to take a sip. And then they, now that there's, they see you struggling with it, they're laughing very heartily. I'm just unashamedly wiping my tongue off on my, on the back of my uh, one, le- the left sleeve of my armor jacket. I'll shrug and drink. Z trips. What's going on? What what got you so wound up? Um, the the light show that you guys put on out there. Well, I mean, you didn't tell us to do it quietly. I mean, I kind of wanted to be able to get the information back that you guys are going to be trying to get with the device that I put in there. And hopefully the device as well. How do you fraggers plan on getting that for me? Oh. That wasn't part of the deal, was it? Yeah, um, we installed the thing. I need the information that is going to be recorded by the device. That's your part. The light show is our job. No, no, no. I very clearly and distinctly said, however, you have, we have to get that information out. Uh, what... It, was there anything else that happened while you were in there? Uh, did you? F- uh, what an idiot! I look over my shoulder at Throwback. Yeah, Throwback's like, like just staring at you, and then like he'll look back at Z Trip and kind of squint and say, e- "Yeah, uh, e- yes." He kind of starts to take a a pause for a second, like taking a breath and and catching his cool, and furrows his brow suspiciously and says. Please go on. <laughs> Throwback looks really uncomfortable, uh, but it, like kind of musters up. He says, "There um, was a lot of Haley's." Elric, who's sort of been just leaning forward with his head uh, resting on the table, uh, suddenly sits up. Haley's just looking at him, really confused. Yeah, Throwback has probably the most confused face. Z Trip is look, is stares at Throwback very like his expression hasn't changed at all. He's blankly staring and well not even blankly, he's just very focused staring, waiting Eon, for what has to be the next piece of information. <laughs> Eon, you were there. Could you translate whatever the frag he's Decker speaking? Hey, wh- why why didn't we know until just now? All right, throwback. Your Eon privileges are yanked. Uh, throwback just let her talk. Uh, Eon? Question mark uh, gets sent to throwbacks uh, private com. I'll I'll quickly DNI back to Eon. I'll say, I don't know, but we fragged up, and maybe this is something. Let's just tell them what's the worst that happens. Just make sure Payday knows it wasn't my fault. Ideally, uh, there would be some sort of a uh, recording projected onto some surface of uh, you know visuals in there. Uh, ideally, from Eon's perspective, which would then maybe warp and shift and be strange and muddled for a moment or two or three. But I'm not sure if that's possible, uh, game-wise. Yeah, sure. I think I think we can we can say that is able to happen. Cool. And uh, you get basically from, you know, wherever Eon was, her perspective and uh, this recording of, of, of the room and what was going on. And it's shaky and strange and muddled and hard to understand for a little while. And there's no good explanation as to why that is. But yeah, uh, why is the recording all weird? I can't uh, really say. Are those... It- it's two Haley's and a third empty one. Uh, was this like something in the Matrix or something? No. Z Trip stops, puts his hand up, and he says, "No, no, no. There are get it. five Haley's and a sixth empty one. What the frag did you guys find in there?" And that right there—that's me. That's me telling Eon to run. I just point that. I, we don't know what the Haley's were. They're, they're Haley's. What'd you leave them there for? As we keep watching. <laughs> They're, they were in tanks. What you're seeing was... Yeah, in I Matrix. happen to know 
one that got out of the tank. And now there's five more of them that are... Do you know anything about this, Z-Trip? You don't seem confused. Not nearly as much as we are. Well, Z-Trip has has leaned all the way back in his seat and and now is staring blankly at no one in particular and not saying much of anything with his mouth kind of halfway open. Why would you... Why would you leave them there? Yeah, that turns off the recording. Why would we get them? That's not the job. You were just concerned about the job before, and you got the idea, right? Why, what well, do we care? It's a tank full of people. Have you not seen this before? I've read online this is common. No? Yeah. Besides, there's five more headaches, more than the first one. We don't know if they're Haley. Uh, they just looked like your friend. Yes, they looked like her, and there was a tube that should have had one and it was missing. Did you happen to not notice that detail? No, you're way too smart to not notice that detail. Why are you so upset? The one's missing. She's not in it. You should be happy. You're free to still run around somewhere, right? Probably that one dude we gave him to. Elric, she wasn't there. And the other ones attacked us. They tried to kill us. Well, they, they, yeah, they tried to kill us. They tried to kill you. Well, you could have mentioned that. Maybe at some point in my tirade. I- I'm sure I paused a moment or two. You could have gotten a word in. I slide him the bottle. I look at it and as if I'm going to take a drink and then set the bottle back down and slide it back towards Leroy. I'm just going to shake my head and uh, make this sort of bulging motion with my cheeks as if I'm, you know, keeping something in. I'm sorry, Elric. I, I mean, it was all happening very quickly and we didn't know what you guys were doing up top we just we just we dealt with it and then we did the job poorly though now that i think about it you did do the job right the camera's in place the virus is uploaded there's even a sizable distraction on file that might not make them think to look for something other than whatever we did to the haley's yeah, well, you know, good luck getting back in there to get the data off of the camera, let alone the camera itself that I made a prototype of. There's a chance we we made a a contact. I, I don't know if we've pressed them too far, though. Besides, what? we you didn't, didn't say go- anything about us going back in and getting something. You said we had to install the gizmo. Then you didn't have the gizmo to do the thing. Give me my pay right now. I'm out of this. This is too weird. I knew... I knew doing a job for you would be too fragged up. You guys got a lot of issues. Have you considered going to like couples therapy, like counseling or something? Eon, Eon, you took a recording of this? Yes. Um, it's an interesting recording. What Do you take recordings of everything, or what inspired you to take a recording of this in particular? He was working for Throwback at the time. I can't say. I, 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 told, her, I told her to record everything. Uh, that we were doing down there so that we could prove that we planted the camera. That is throwback lying as hard as he can. Z trip kind of gives throwback a sideways glance and furrows his brow a little bit and then looks back at Eon and in AR space and, and then thinks for a second he says, well, I almost feel like maybe the device is a little moot. Maybe the fact that we can't get in there and get the information is, Irrelevant now. I mean, this is this tells us kind of, in a way, what we needed to know about Haley and and Blue Data, right? They're dealing with some I, fragged up stuff. I what, think. Do you, do you know about this stuff? Like, what Frag- is it? no, I don't know what this is. Oh my god! He stops for a second. You don't, do you think Rudolph knew about this? Good question. I don't care about the answer. Give me my Nuyen. He he takes it. Just looks. Deep in thought, but it's hard to say because he's still wearing his goggles. He takes a deep breath. Z Trip does, and almost like you know, he doesn't. He hasn't decided what to say yet, and then he abruptly pulls out some cred sticks, a, a fistful of cred sticks, and and slides them across the table. And he says, "I guess, I guess we found out what we needed to know. There's your pay." And there are five cred sticks, each of them with eleven thousand new yen each. Uh, Z Trip, uh, thanks. Uh... Sorry, I didn't get your objective very well. Uh, I didn't really understand what the tech thing meant. Uh, I just thought we were supposed to put the thing there. Um, 
I'll it's, let you know what we find out next. We got some information, didn't we? Oh, I don't know what to do with this. I mean, it answers maybe some okay. questions, I guess, but uh, I mean, it, it creates a lot more, doesn't it? We don't know who owned that thing. There's a chance it was just being stored there. Maybe Blue Data doesn't know what was going on. I think that I think you don't even believe that throwback. <laughs> he kind of shakes his head. Look, um, thanks, guys. Uh, it's been a stressful night. I mean, I don't have to tell you guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, your crew did great with the distractions, but worked well. Uh, something happened when we went down there. I guess that that tripped the security off and. Yeah, kind of had to fight our way out. We were kidding ourselves if you were going to make it down into some R&D lab in Blue Data and not have to fight your way out anyway. You plan for everything, but you can't plan for whatever that was. I just kind of look off into space. You didn't lose anybody, did you? No, no, thank goodness. They're, they're, they're fine. We got out of there fine. Uh, we managed to lose any kind of tail that might have been coming on us, but uh, I'm glad you guys are okay as well. No, no. All right, good. All right, well, you guys take care of yourselves. Um, payday, uh, do you want to come outside with me for a minute? Do I want to come outside with you? Look. Why the I, frag would I want to come outside with you? He, he really gets kind of a stern look on his face. Not like a st- parent, parenty type stern, but like a, like a, like a, can we just, can we just do this for a second kind of look? Like he says, you might want to hear something that I have to say. Uh, all right. It's better be fracking good. I give uh, Payday an eyeball to see if he wants me to come with. I nod like it's okay. Don't worry about it for now. Mm-hmm. I tag along without being asked or addressed, but not without any effort towards stealth. I'm probably grunting and groaning a little bit when I move. The opposite of stealth. <laughs> <laughs> well, Z-Trip's going to walk out into the back out of back door with payday and say, and then he's going to check AR and all this kind of stuff and see that he's alone with payday before he says, um, uh, have you, um, have you noticed anything funny with Eon? Well, I've noticed that throwback is slow to transfer back and that's bothering me because that pathetic Decker, that is not his girlfriend. It might not be throwback. He's very obviously choosing his words carefully, and it, you can tell he's not telling you everything he knows. I don't know about that. I was talking with Elric while they were in the basement, and we figured out that he thinks that Eon's his girlfriend now. What? Yeah. yeah I think so. Frank, no. Elric speaks up because he's there. No one told him to go away. Look, Payday, um, I got something I want to tell you, but I don't know if you want anyone else around. He looks at Elric. Uh, he's all right. He, I mean, he's kind of my roommate now. I noticed something funny about Eon when we got here. She looked totally, not totally, but there's something. Um, I think she might, I don't know how to say this. Um, just say it. I think she might be an AI. What? Like, I don't even know if she's aware. I, I was trying to. It was hard. Uh, look, I know you got a lot on your mind right now. I just, I couldn't let you leave without telling I, you. I know that you know she's a program or not anymore. I guess that how's you. That, how's that freaking possible? She's just an agent program I got with my cyber deck. I don't know. I've heard of these things happening before. They're incredibly rare. I don't know how it happens. Uh, look, I just, I just thought you might want to know. I could be wrong, I guess, but there's definitely something weird going on. Um, just, I, I, I just thought you'd want to know. Um, I know you don't like me very yeah. much, so maybe take this worth a grain of salt, whatever. But uh, wait, it, how do we know she just wasn't one before? Is this like a New thing, maybe, from the blue data place in the Haley tubes? Or is this or is this something you just realized? Z-Trip kind of looks at you almost like, 
Like, huh, I wonder why I'd never thought of that before myself. He says, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, what makes you think now that you didn't think before? Well, maybe I just never noticed it before. I don't know. I, I, that's a good point. But I did just notice it, and I took a closer look. All right. Uh, all right. All right. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I got. I got to go. Uh, thank you, guys. I guess I don't need to thank you. I just paid you. Yeah. Aren't you guys going to get into a fist fight or something? You got some something to work out here. That's Why? what I'm trying to avoid right now. Uh, anyway, uh, payday. Um, she she's kind of she's going to need a place to live and uh i got a i happen to have a spare uh deck that i use he kind of looks like uncomfortable like yeah, he people don't need decks yeah i know um but i you know people don't like my kind so we try to hide things in the ways that we can and i had this old one from you know just lying around that I carry around. I don't actually use it. So, um, and he uncomfortably hands it to you. Like he doesn't want to, because you guys aren't on the best of terms. No. And, and um, being nice to you feels awkward to him. Don't worry. It feels awkward for payday too. And he says, this is for, it's not for you. It's for her. And he, he, he's uncomfortable with, you know, like the realization as well. And he says, I get it. Just, she'll she'll need a she'll need a place to stay yeah all right thanks see you around all right he leaves all right well you guys are headed back to town i guess is what you're doing or or what yeah Yeah, well not long after leaving the bar elric's stim patch wears off and he goes from suffering a minus two penalties, which was the whole moaning and pain before, to now suffering minus six dice penalties. So if he was insufferable before, now he's acting like he's just going to die. Just almost motionless and occasionally letting a brief moan escape his lips. The warm embrace of mother alcohol. He didn't even manage to get any down. (laughs) Payday will uh, give everybody a drive home that wants it. But for dropping everybody off, um, um, Eon, we're going to need to talk. In the meantime, um, I got a new home for you. Then I power up the cyberdeck. I know you don't need throwback to do this, so just do it. She hops in. It's much more roomy than your, your old cyberdeck. It's still crammed. Leroy's place was actually a little better, but hey. <laughs> at least Even I can fit. That's right. This one has more tools in it, at least. Nice. And I'll put the cyber deck into my bag. Yeah, and... she just switches over without a word after a pause. How cold. <laughs> Payday thinks Eon's been hiding something from him. Aww. All right. Well, while you guys are driving home, uh, if you happen to pay attention to the news, you hear a little a little blurb in the news. It goes, WIS News 10, Columbia, Daniel Lopez here at the Blue Data Tower building reporting on the attack that occurred just tonight. Uh, the hey, last turn time that I... up. Turn it up. That's us. <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> the last time I reported here, there wasn't a lot of information, but as pieces are coming together, as people are being spoken to, a picture is starting to form. And now a lot of details are yet to be put together into anything definitive. But here's what we do know. At approximately 12.15 a.m., security alarms went off inside the Blue Data Tower building. Shots were heard fired, and an on-site high-threat response security team was dispatched. It appears that a short firefight did occur soon after this happened. There's at least one fatality reported and uh, at least two, possibly three very serious injuries. It could be more. Uh, that information still coming in. It's suspected that the attackers were uh, posing as a cleaning company and that they may have been uh, they may have uh, been the van that was seen fleeing the site. Um, a cleaning company was definitely called less than an hour before the incident occurred and was seen entering the building and doing some cleaning work, but no security footage has been found, which shows that the cleaning crew was on site. Uh, Very interesting. My source on the inside tells me that there is a strong suspicion of magic use here during the attack and that Lone Star will be assisting with potential investigations 
in that regard. He also tells me that they are looking into a potential security leak in the contracted security firm, Cypress Security Services, which may have allowed the attacker to get access to uh, the area which, which they needed to be. Of course, information is still coming in, and we will keep everybody informed. Uh, this is Daniel Lopez, WIS News 10, Columbia. What is it, 15 minutes of fame you got? Should have turned it down. <laughs> nice. They, uh, word gets around fast, huh? Yeah, it does. That's what happens when you start moving up into doing actual work. Guess we have this question before I drop you guys off. How far are you going to take it now? Is it done? Is the Haley thing done? Or what? Ugh, frag, I don't know. Uh, there's, there's the Haley we know. What happened to her? I'm even more worried about her now. So it's not done. I don't think I don't it's know. done. I don't know what, what happened to your friend, but I know that Ian and I probably made whatever those were downstairs more or less done. Yeah, well, I, uh, I'm thinking uh, once I get rested up, I'm, uh, I'm going to want to have a conversation with Rudolph. Uh, one where he maybe doesn't get so much choice about uh, what he gets to answer and what he gets to be silent about, if oh, you know what I mean. That might be a poor choice of thought. Rudolph's pretty powerful. But he's also he's also the the man in charge around here, and he might be willing to talk, especially since we have information. Now, Why do you think he was a part of it? I mean, he's a pretty reasonable person in my experience. As reasonable as a as like the head of a mafia. Yeah, he's never seen any sign besides this Haley stuff that he has, but that, that he's been someone I couldn't trust. But man, this uh. I'm not thinking straight. I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to uh, make this drop off pretty quick. We have, uh, this van's been ID'd and it's a pretty generic piece of crap, but I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to drop you guys off at all at the garage and you can make your way home from there. Yeah, Elric, once good. he gets off of the garage, basically makes a few steps in and like kind of collapses into a quarter of the garage without any uh, care of whether or not there's something soft there to land on or not. Exactly. His last thing or thought before he, he fades away is to order his fire elemental to or his fire spirits to uh, please watch over him while he sleeps and to wake me at dawn or just before dawn. Magical alarm clocks, man, that's spirit abuse. And uh, like said before, I'm going to have GMC Phoenix trail behind the van. But uh, at this point, uh, after the drop off, uh, it's just me and Eon. Eon uh, shows up in AR, it's in the passenger seat. This so, is... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead this time. <laughs> Things are different lately. Did this just happen down there? Um, I think so. Sort of. It's really kind of difficult to explain it. I I feel like before I was flat, and now I'm filled with helium. And I can go new places, and I can do different things... And I, did you know that I can do matrix searches without even being asked? Do you know how much I have learned about the fashion industry? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really Possibly excited about much. this trip. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I know you don't like these sorts of things. I won't, bo- I won't bother you with that, of course. I, I'm wearing the same clothes that I've worn for the last week and a half. I've noticed. Oh, see? I didn't think you ever did. Um, you weren't hiding it from me then. What do you mean? So you didn't know. That I you've mean... been wearing the same clothes for two weeks? Yes, I did. No, no, not the clothes. I mean, about this thing, this big... Um... No, uh, no, no. All right. Did you Cause... think I was keeping it from you? Uh thought crossed my mind for a moment 
you know, you're, you're my only friend. I wouldn't do that to you. So, all right. And Payday looks like he's trying to keep his composure. All I right. Could, I could probably style you a new outfit if you'd like. No, no. The, uh, maybe I should just wash my clothes more often. I could whip up a schedule for you. Thank you. That'd be, that'd be great. And Pede laughs a little bit and uh, doesn't say much more. And she just starts, she, she just stays there, kind of, you know, hitches her, you know, virtual elbow up on the, uh, up by the window and just enjoys the ride. For reaching uh, Scorch's place, he does crack a smile. At least we got a free cyber deck out of it. She grins. Thank you guys for listening. We hope you enjoyed it. This show would definitely not be possible without the generous support of our patrons over at Patreon. If you like what we do here and you want to help keep it going, consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash complex action. Our patrons get access to awesome thank you rewards like GM notes that I put together as well as a chance to be selected to join us as a guest on our cast party episodes that we do. That's patreon.com slash complex action to find out more. There were several NPCs and organizations which were provided by patrons of Complex Action early in the development of this show. In this episode, those were The Bar, The Tragic Accident, submitted by patron Dominic, and also Z-Trip, our favorite technomancer extraordinaire, submitted by Justin Fenton. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. The character art seen on our YouTube page and various other social media places was done by Ethan Brewerton. Check out his awesome Shadowrun artwork at esbrewerton.com. The background music in this episode is brought to you by Prism Shard. To hear more of his Shadowrun-inspired music, head on over to soundcloud.com slash prism-shard and uh, give him some love. The Topps Company, Inc. has sole ownership of the names, logo, artwork, marks, photographs, sounds, audio, video, and or any proprietary material used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Topps Company, Inc. has granted permission to Complex Action to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its websites, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with Complex Action in any official capacity whatsoever.